Frank Kenny, uh, President of Chicago Cubs. Thank you yeah. very much for being with us um, today. Uh, a magnificent 12 months or so for, for you guys over in Chicago. Um, from the business side of the organization, obviously the narrative has just changed, talking about the curse, uh, you know, historic brand, but lack of success, and suddenly right. winning organization. Tell yeah. us about that. Uh, so we never we never adopted the curves. I mean, it, it, it was talked about, and and we uh, and and similarly though we're not really adopting the whole like winners thing. Um, I think the winning one World Series in 108 years doesn't make us winners. I think it gives us a leg up on on the upcoming season. But um, it, it's a it's a cultural thing for us though, right? Because you're you are turning a corner. We had a mission, very well defined, a group of people who galvanized around one challenge, and now in some ways that challenge has passed us. So it's really a question of how do we find a new mission or how do we expand the mission we were on and still stay as focused as we were because one of the one of the great gifts of not winning for 108 years was it threw every other agenda out whether it was your own personal agenda your professional agenda where you thought resources should be allocated etc cetera, etc cetera. all that stuff goes by the wayside when you when you have such a clear mission so the challenge for us today is without that clear clear mission how do we stay galvanized around what we're trying to do so it's it's an interesting blessing and curse thing um, on the business side, and I know you know you want a consistency of message, and you don't want to get too carried away one way or the other, winning or not winning. You must be having different sorts of conversations with partners and potential partners now. And are you doing anything to to capitalise on that that new story and extra interest already? Yeah, yeah, and it it, it did elevate and it changed our business plan. So we had a a drafted 2017 business plan that after winning the World Series, we we, we shelved and and rebuilt. Um, I'd say one of the things we're trying to do is uh, go deeper with our corporate partners, so fewer but deeper. And a great example of that might be um, our, our Beam Suntory deal we just announced. We had several partners in the distilled spirits category. Now we have one. They, they made a larger financial commitment to us, and that allows us to make a larger commitment to them and just, just them alone. Um, and I think what, you're, what you'll see from us is we will probably go from a larger group of partners to a smaller group with maybe a larger financial component um, from their end and a bigger commitment from our end. Um, so that'd be like one example. Okay. Um, can you give us an update on uh, the Wrigley Field updates? I sure. Suppose. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. What's the state of so play? So we're then? yeah we're in good shape uh, in both the ballpark and outside. So inside we're uh, we'll be ready for opening day uh, April 10th and uh, the next the th this will be the the third phase of five. So we have two more after this. Outside the hotel and office building are coming along. Uh, office building will open on uh, opening day this year. The plaza, the entertainment district outside, will open opening day this year. Mm -hmm. And the hotel will open on opening day of 2018. Beautiful old historic uh, baseball venue. Um, you're updating it with all the mod cons. Yep. Um, can you talk about um, your priorities in marrying um, that sense of history and tradition and heritage with a um, modern day yeah. fan experience. Yeah, so what, before we started, we did a tour of what we thought were iconic venues that had gone through a modernization. So Fenway Park, obviously, Lambeau Field, the Rose Bowl out in, in California, um, Madison Square Garden here, uh, the Masters, we went down to look at what they'd done to change the golf course and the amenities around the golf. So we kind of spent a lot of time marinating in what did they do well uh, to preserve the history and character without sacrificing modern amenities. So. It's a balance for us. You know, the big jump for us was probably the leap was the video boards. We had no replay boards at Wrigley until two years ago. Um, all the rest of it is really around the edges. So um, what the fans will see when they sit in their seats is very similar to what their grandfather saw and their great grandfather saw. But when they leave their seat to either get concessions or buy your daughter her first Cubs hat or go to the restroom or park your car, it'll be a different experience and one that I think will, we hope will actually put them in their seat for a longer period of time, shorter lines, a quicker experience and then see more baseball. So we're gonna try and thread that needle. Obviously you lit up Chicago last year and you got a lot of people excited about the team and probably re-energized a lot of uh, fans that haven't really been you know, interested in quite some time. Clearly your home market is your most important market, but are you looking further afield um, to potential fan bases? And if so, where are you looking? Yeah, so um, because of the baseball rules, which restrict us to a broadcast territory, we're, we're unable to really take our signal, take our games outside the market without the league. So it's really everything we're gonna do outside our territory is with the league. And, and I think uh, our new commissioner has made it a, um, a, a, an important part of his uh, um, thrust to, to go outside the borders. So the World Baseball Classic, which has been a great example with great ratings, exciting games this year, is, is like a perfect example of how we can take the game outside our borders. 
Um, and I think you'll just see us continue to do more on that. But everything we have to do with our brand and our team that leaves our territory has to go through the league. So we're, in a lot of ways, dependent on them. Great, Kevin. Thank you very much indeed. Thank Cheers. you.